Okay, Ryan Hodson here, Air Force Velocity Stacks. I wanted to show you guys what we're working on. We've been working on this on our flow bench for about five months, every single day, trying to figure out how to get this throttle body to flow more air. We uh, tried all sorts of things, boring them out, changing the shutters, and uh, we came up with uh, <clears throat> these spacers right here. So we've got an injector standoff. It, what it does is it pulls the injector out of the hole, right? And then we also have a standoff for the map sensor right here, and it, it pulls the map sensor back. And so when you when you put those spacers in with, with the stack, which was very hard to design, uh, we ended up with a 30 CFM gain, which is incredible. We're very proud of that. You know, uh, we worked hard at it. Uh, we haven't had a chance to, you know, tell you what the horsepower gains are yet at this time. There's going to be more testing than that. I, what I can tell you is that we are driving up and down the highways. You know, we got an AFR gauge on there and uh, everything's fine. Now, a lot of people would want to know, you know, how, how do you put 30 CFM of air into an engine and how does it not go lean? The MAP sensor senses how cold it is and what the pressure is. So it automatically, the ECU says, oh, we got to add more fuel so we don't get lean. That's what it does. It would be the same thing as if you're driving a motorcycle in Edmonton versus Seattle. The pressure difference there is 1.5 pounds of air, right? So it's exactly the same thing, but you're always gonna be 30 CFM more, right? So what we're doing is I'm working with some guys and we're programming the ECUs and we are gonna add a little bit more fuel and change the timing curves a little bit, right? But the ECU already does that. The ECU in these bikes, is one of the best ECUs out there. It has a barometric pressure sensor in it and it knows what's happening and it works with the map sensor. The Italians knew what they were doing when they built these bikes. They're unbelievable bikes, okay? So when you get your stack and you install it, this is where the back injector goes. Everybody who's been trying to build a snow bike intake didn't know what to do with that. So we built this on the stacks. They're not drilled all the way through, all right? So you have to finish the, the last maybe quarter of an inch and drill that hole through. It's very important that you drill the bottom of that hole wide enough that the injector spray doesn't hit the sidewalls, all right? If you get it too small, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna puddle and it's gonna run lean as hell. So you don't want that to happen, right? The other thing is this screw here, when you tighten it on this screw, you don't have to torque on that like with a monkey wrench. Just maybe put a little Loctite on there. Don't over tighten that screw. We already learned those lessons. It's just sitting in rubber. You can over torque that, okay? If, if you wanted to put this bike on your KTM, this, this intake on your KTM bike, there's a place for the map sensor. There's a place for nitrous here for the guys that like to run nitrous. We love running nitrous. So that's why we put blocks on all of the stacks that we build. And uh, yeah, th this is a great stack fits right up in here nice and tight and we also build a filter so you can run this stack if you wanted in uh, in the summertime right so there's where it fits we had to trim a little bit of plastic you don't have to I like to so nothing rubs on anything and just sits right in there like that and there's the, the, the breather crankcase breather filter thanks for watching